like a main event here. In my opinion, we got Hex. Flew all the way from New Plymouth. Samurais have to die if they try and challenge me. And fuck ninja stars, I'll throw an entire galaxy. Thunder sounds for days when my mind clouds will rage. My thoughts contain the force of a thousand tidal waves. A rhyme ace. Make some noise for Hex. Yeah! Take him to Ash. And we got. He needs no introduction, you've seen him on the battles before. Yeah. Devastator with the dodgy face. You wanna smoke on my bum? You wanna hit on my bum? I got my bucket ball right here. Yeah! Uh, hey, Look at the state of it! <laughs> Alright, so, come on. Grab out a coin. <laughs> organization. Um, pull on the evo. Hits. Uh, wait, I let it get stunned, did it? Huh? Hits for Higgs. Might have been that year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Alright, yo, this useless streak had a superhuman losing streak, your reign was short lived, your flow ain't what it used to be, and I know you hate Christchurch because Jay Roach has smoked you, and you choked against charisma you fucking hopeless loner, and you battled DMN, and you lost to that crew, and the battle of the bulge, yeah you've lost that one too. <laughs> See, I serve dudes that turn up to battles wearing work boots. You look like a fat turkey <laughs> whack jerk on Mercury. Yeah. Oh, see, this narc helps local police with their cases. So I'll give this racist rapist ape a fucking facelift. This unlucky guy eats Kentucky Fried by the bucket load. He drinks pickle juice and he's too fat to touch his toes. <laughs> Whoever you are, battling me is a bad move, especially if you're a sweaty fat dude with man boots. <laughs> And I know fish and chips are your favourite dish. Man, I've seen sperm whales half the weight of this bitch. <laughs> and he's fake as hell. He saw his own big titties and long hair in the mirror, and he tried to rape himself. <laughs> you ain't fucking funny. You're the opposite of Dave Chappelle. And by the way, bitch, that ponytail looks gay as well. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Stay yeah, well, I'm fat, of course. But so what? You're short. <laughs> yeah, and I know a smaller dude is more tall than you. So don't test me, chromosome. You look like Joe Pesci from Home Alone. <laughs> yeah. Now either, now either I'm battling a guy who thinks he can freestyle using metaphors, or Snow White got rid of one of her seven dwarfs. <laughs> I mean, honestly. Look at this guy, he looks like the only hobbit mistress from his district. <laughs> Bro, straight up, you look like a nice green little dwarf that's been around since 1964, and ever since then you've been rhyming very poor. Look at his t-shirt, it says London Kingdom, but when he came from London Kingdom, his friends didn't want to bring him. <laughs> he only goes to London Kingdom to get come up in him. Bro, straight up, and you're from fucking New Plymouth, are ya? Why did you come from that town, you true midget whore? Go back to New Plymouth, whore. Yo, straight up, this guy's out of time. He ain't down to rhyme. This midget came from down the line, and now the New Plymouth Circus has a missing clown to find. <laughs> <laughs> and New Plymouth shouldn't be sending one dude up here to battle me, they should be sending an army of their best. But instead, they send me a guy who's hardly worth the test and drinks Bacardi for his stress while he walks around the bar like Barbie in a dress. He calls himself Devastator. Have you wondered why he says this? because the day that he was born, his parents were devastated. <laughs> Wait, you need to stop munching double burgers with extra fries. Before you try molesting mines, you should do some exercise. <laughs> and get some better lines. You should work on your rhyme schemes. Then go and see a nurse about your personal hygiene. <laughs> you need to cut down on the sweets, boy. Go out for a hikoi. Your life consists of wake up, eat moi, eat moi. <laughs> Clava. You ain't on some thug shit, but you should wear your belly in public because you're an ugly fuckwit. No! Hey, guaranteed to offend. My fam's known to crush shit. His fam's known to trade land for some moldy blankets and some broken muskets. So if I offer you a treaty, don't trust it, because I'll trade your doll check for a phone that's busted. Hey, he doesn't hate me because I'm clever or I'll spit tight. He hates me because I'm from England and my skin's white. Uh, Yo, yeah, I spit yeah. the greatest bars. You ain't devastating, Mark. It's like Zippy versus Magics. You're not in my weight class. Oh. Oh. I'm not in his weight class. This fucking cunt's so ugly, he's wearing a fake mask. I mean, look at him. Bro, you don't even look human, you ugly lump of crap. You look like the kind of person people see and they wonder, what the fuck is that? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Like an 
answer that question, G, but my only suggestion, B, is that this pathetic flea grow some balls, go to court and get an erection, please. <laughs> I'll be the judge. I sentence thee to die hopeless in bed. There ain't nobody as hopeless as Higgs because the only way he can get with a girl and open her legs is if she's unsober or dead. <laughs> I'd rather you. piss and shit all over your bread and stick it in your throat than listen to your jokes. Bro, you're an unfunny man from an unlucky land with a bum buddy tan. Oh. You true midget whore. Why the fuck did you come up from New Plymouth for? <laughs> Bro, straight up, look at this guy. He's a foreign bigger, which means he's got green teeth and you can see this faggot bumming change down on Queen Street. <laughs> That's why he wears that t-shirt, because he's white as fuck. Bro, you're gay as fuck, you're whack as fuck, and you're obviously too stupid to tie your own laces up. <laughs> Alright, round three on Higgs. Okay. I'm dope, and everybody knows this. You call me a beggar, but you're the cunt that's dressed like he's homeless. And I can't believe that you use fat jokes against charisma. I bet you thought of those when you were looking in the mirror. You should try actually spitting something hot. The dopest in Auckland, you are fucking not. I'm a senior in this battle arena. You're a junior and you'll know to choke, but I won't do the Heimlich maneuver. <laughs> hey, when this guy goes out to eat, he's seated alone because he inhales whole pies and sucks meat off the bone. Yeah! <laughs> you need to watch your guts, bitch. Stop watching snuff flicks. Maybe try a family film and then eating some cruskets. Because yeah! honestly, you'll die if you get any bigger, bro. You're so hungry, you can smell a hungry before they dig the hole. <laughs> rapping about rape, that's bizarre. He's a fat guy that raps about rape. It's bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> Get your hand out the cookie jar. You're a rookie hard. Now fuck off and enroll in a healthy cooking class. <laughs> I'm in a showdown. This is how it goes down. I just murdered the life-size character from Brotown. <laughs> And when you're with your boyfriends, you always go down. Ooh, and before your drive up here, he put a vibrator in his ass, right up there. <laughs> now I must be honest, when did Hornswoggle become the doctor of thugonomics? <laughs> Bro, straight up. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Bro, fucking hell. You can't bust this well because you need to go lie down in a wishing well. Holy shit, this guy can't even fold his shit because talking about that shit you talk about, that just makes you a fool and a bitch lying in a pool of my piss. You never went to school as a kid? Bro, straight up, you lived your whole life on a farm taking courses. And every interval, you were in the barn raping horses. That's what it's like in New Plymouth, isn't it? Sick motherfucker, we all know you were in on it. This dude came to Auckland from down south and tried to talk with his loud mouth, but he isn't feeling too important and proud now. Bro, straight up, if I ended up giving you five beers, you'd be a danger to man, bitch, because the sicker your ideas, the stranger your plan is. <laughs> straight up. Bro, you fucking lame son, a dope rapper you ate once, and so go back to wherever the fuck it is you came from. Because you look like the same dumb, lame bum that changed from a gay nun to an even more insane one. Oh. And when he was aged one, he thought it was way fun getting raped up as gay bum. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's three rounds, make some noise. Fucking slim pickings, bro. That was fucking awesome. Fucking shout out to both for fucking Devastator and Higgs. Shut up, fucking Higgs coming up. Boom, that's awesome. But I reckon 49, 51 Higgs. Spearman, LCOB, New Zealand. Seen us before. Um, basically, I had them pretty even the first two rounds, man. They both had the crowd going and stuff. Um, I think due to Devastator slip up on the last round, um, that really sealed the victory for Higgs. So I give it, um, I give it a two to one to Higgs. So yeah, Higgs for the battle. Hey, what up? Um, I think that shit was a bit too hard to judge. I would have might seen it go one more round, man. Ah, uh, yeah, fuck too, but um, bit of an intense battle. Uh, yeah, to go to Higgs, eh? Due to crab response and Lurkney was all good. They're both Lurkney good, but yeah, I'll give it to Higgs. Yeah, I've got to give it to Higgs, because uh, I thought he had a bit more wittiness in his lines and a team with more unpredictableness. So, I'll give it to him. Sweet nine. One of our three battles. Gareth Monster Turkey, Artel Moore, Spearman. We just had uh, the main event, Higgs, all the way up from New Plymouth, bro, and uh, Devastator, the man himself. It was a close battle. We had one vote OT, and we had four votes for Higgs. 
Yeah. So there goes to Higgs for the one. Yeah. 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 Yeah.